Alrighty, everyone. So, now we are going to do a snubber investigation here. I have the 12-volt battery hooked up. It charges unbelievably fast. He raises the voltage of the battery unbelievably fast. Okay, 1164. And I have the setting here. Um, AC setting. Okay. And we, we are going to place across the point of contact here and take an AC measurement to see uh, what kind of collapsing return we are getting from discharging the capacitor to the 12 volt battery. So the inductive kickback. And it's surprisingly small. We'll turn him on. Here's the charge, 1162. Instantly he go crazy. Now we're going to just take here and here, cross where the snubber is, and you can see about 37 volts AC. Okay, we switch him to DC. I can show you the discharge voltage of the capacitor. And the voltage is 148 volts being discharged across the IGBT at 50, 45 microfarads. And you can see the charge going into the battery very, very well. Now, um, you, you want to, uh, that end of the circuit still needs work and so does this. But the point is, uh, discharging to a battery, we have a very low AC, inductive kickback, very low heating on the MOSFET or IGBT. He warms, but ever so slightly. There's um, almost not noticeable. Now, over a long period of time, that may change. But we are not having a large inductive kickback here. Now, uh, when we go to a coil, that will change. When we find the correct core material for the frequency we are running at, again, that will increase. So, a full wave bridge rectifier. I have not decided if I will use something like this off of here or if I will use something like this. These are limited to 800 volts, so um, it's possible I will use this. We will see. I will try that probably coming up very shortly. And like I said, we will have a uh, capture cap storage and a vo voltage drop diode back into positive, probably just out to negative, to feedback loop so as to add the collapse from the switching contact back into the source and then like I said we will have the other side to address yet all right that's it just wanted to show you very low AC return with the snubber caps and uh, the output of the snubber caps in AC